Hi folks, it's uh, Neil here, AS CAD Services. Uh, a question arose following my video yesterday regarding putting 3D views into an assembly drawing. Of course, it doesn't only apply to assembly drawings. You can use that same process and you can put a 3D view into um, any kind of drawing, arrangement drawings, single part drawings if you needed to. But the question arose because my customer put a 3D view into his assembly drawing and the bolts and holes were missing from the 3D view. Now this is a question I get quite a lot. Where are the bolts and holes? And it's because as a default in advance still, in arrangement drawings, the bolts and holes are turned off. Um, I prefer to have them turned on as do probably most, most of you as well. So what we need to do, we need to go into the system and we need to turn those elements on in the drawing styles. So here are the drawing styles on the output ribbon and this little icon here it says drawing style manager and it all looks a bit scary in here a lot of people they don't like to go in here and uh, I would suggest don't go in here and indiscriminately change things without some instruction or some assistance initially because uh, you can make a right mess of your drawing styles. Anyway let's go in here and I'm going to bring this right back to basics. When you open it, it's quite possible you're going to see this drawing styles, drawing styles, and you've got two options, advance and user. Under advance, if I expand this and then I expand uh, an, an arrangement drawing, GA 3D look, and I expand 3D view or no labels. And I can expand the uh, next branch down, which says 3D, no lab, blah, 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 blah. I'll expand that. And we get here eventually. And what we're going to do, we're going to click on the line that says objects presentation. And on the right hand side here, when we use the drawing style, 3D view, all no labels, this is how it's going to be presented on the drawing sheet. So these are the objects it's looking for. You can see cladding sheets are turned off, cladding and flashing is turned off, and the one we're looking for, bolts and holes are turned off and bolts are turned off. Uh, then we've got cladding screws again turned off. And then these other objects will show in the arrangement drawing. The important one at the bottom is all. So basically, if it's not listed here, everything else will come under all. So we can control what's shown in the drawing, how it's seen in the drawing, how it's labelled in the drawing, etc. So this one here says uh, all no labels. So apart from sight welds, everything else is turned off. But I can't change this. If I click on it, nothing happens. It's all greyed out. And that's done on purpose to stop people inadvertently changing the system settings. So that comes under the advanced settings. These are system settings. The ones we can change, however, are the ones under user. And again, you'll see as pretty much the same layout as here. I've added an extra, an extra row in there, but basically assemblies, GA 3D. So everything's the same as in advance. So it's a copy of effectively. But this one we can edit. I'm going to go into GA3D and I'm going to use this one, 3D view or no labels, same as we did at the top, and I'm going to expand it. I'm going to expand the next branch down again and we're going to get to objects presentation. Now, we're not greyed out here, we can make any change we like in here. Although when we change things, if we change it in this table, the table is called 3D dash no lab, no labels. If I change it here and that applies to some of the other drawing styles, a message will come up on the screen and it will say, basically, if you change it here, you're going to change it everywhere else as well, which in this case is to our advantage because we don't want to be looking for that in every instance in uh, the drawing style manager. So we're going to change this. Mine's already set to visible, but if this was off, all we need to do is go to this line, click on where it says yours in this case will be off and we expand it and we've got all these uh, presentation styles that we can use. There's off there. And I've turned mine to visible, bolts and holes. I've also turned the bolts on 
visible. Okay? And you're going to do the same. And the, this message may come up and it will say, if you change it here, you're going to change it everywhere else. And you're going to accept it and say, okay, let's see if I can invoke that. So let's go to off. Here we are. So that would invoke this. You are about to modify the shared objects presentation named 3D no lab, this one. Okay. So you can either modify the objects presentation, which we're going to do, we're going to say OK, or you can cancel the modification. You've got one this that says do not ask again. Please don't turn that off. Uh, I don't have mine turned off, as you can see. If you turn that off, you could make changes in the drawing style, which you think is relevant to this particular one drawing style, but you're changing it in 15 other places at the same time. So this is to warn me that something may change somewhere else. I'm going to say OK. I'm going to send that back to visible again and it will come up again. Look, do I really want to be doing this? I get the chance to either cancel it or modify the object presentation. We're going to say yes to modify it. And the last thing I need to do once I've made these changes is click apply. OK, if you look in some of the other drawing styles, this one here, for instance, that's using the same presentation rules 3D no lab. So this drawing style here would have automatically changed by virtue that I've, in fact that I've changed uh, this drawing style. Some of the others, this one here for instance, may not have updated because it's using a different presentation rule. This one is with labels. So I would have to go in and I'd have to make the changes in this one as well. Okay. And then this one again is probably using that same presentation rule. It is there, look. 3D with lab. So that's using the same one. So um, if you do a drawing and it's not changed, it's invariably because one of these others needed um, editing as well. So once we've finished all our editing, we click apply. We can close this. And then uh, we can create our drawings. And what will happen is quite possibly you'll create an arrangement drawer and you'll see, oh, there's no bolts and holes in that. And you'll be putting a comment on the on the uh, YouTube video. Ha, ah, this doesn't work. The reason it didn't work is because if you'd used the default drawing styles, that's the one with the union flag or your country flag, wherever you come from. What it's doing, it's using the default advanced version of the drawing style. And this is the one we couldn't change. So it's using this one. What you need to do, you need to change your country flag to this icon. This is the user icon. And now it's going to be using the drawing style that you've modified. OK, mine looks a little bit different, but you're going to get the same sort of thing in yours. Camera selected all or whatever or assemblies. But it's probably a good thing if you start changing drawing styles. It's a good it's a good exercise to uh, change to the user option before you create your drawings to make sure you're using your your altered version. And again, you're going to create the drawings and you'll say, well, I did all that now and I still have got no holes in my uh, arrangement drawings because there's something else we need to change as well. And this is a management tool setting. So we're going to go to the home ribbon. We're going to go to management tools and we're going to open that and we're going to go to defaults. And you see, I use a, I use a different uh, settings on mine. What you should do, all this should be set up for your own personal settings. So you shouldn't be using the advanced still defaults there and changing those. You should set up a new profile and you should be doing that. I might do a video on setting up profiles. Um, sorry, anyway, I digress. So we're looking for the option to turn off, uh, turn on the visibility of holes. Now the easiest way to find it is type in the filter. So use the filter. And I'm just going to type holes and it's shorten this list. And you can see in each one of these now, there's some options for changing how holes are dealt with. Okay. Uh, this is the one here, actually. If you've got the default value of 22 as a standard holes in 22 millimeters standard holes in your advanced steel drawings. This is the one that turns off the label for the standard holes. So if you wanted to see the dimension for all holes, you can come in here under labeling and you could tick on this. 
Uh, the one we're interested in comes under Presentation General, and it's this one here, Holes in Arrangement Drawings. This is turned off by default. So what you need to do is turn this one on as well, or no holes in your general in your arrangement drawings will show. So we turn this one on, and that's it. We're now done. So I'm going to click on this button here, Load Settings in Advance. I'm not sure we need to do that in later versions of Advanced still, but old habits die hard, as they say. So we're going to click on that, and we're going to close Management Tools. The other thing we do need to click on in the current uh, advanced still session would be this button here update defaults and that will reload the tables that advanced still is using including that option show uh, holes in arrangement drawings of course if I closed advanced and reopened it I don't need to then press this because it will reload the um, tables as a matter of course when advanced still starts up so that's it guys just quick recap we need to make the changes in here we need to go into the user options, whichever general arrangement you're going to be editing. And we need to turn on visibility for the bolts and holes. We then click apply. You may have to do it in some of the other drawing styles as well. It's up to you. Just have a look through, see which ones have changed and which ones haven't. You'll get the warning box come up and we can just say yes, carry on. Click apply, close. Step one. Step two, home ribbon. Management tools, defaults, holes, and it comes under drawing presentation, general, and we need to turn on holes in arrangement drawings. Load settings in advance, update the defaults, and away you go. Now, of course, any drawings you've already created, you can uh, force update on those as many times as you like. It's not going to suddenly put the bolts and holes in. Um, so it will with new drawings, of course. Have fun using Advanced Still. I'm sure you all uh, enjoy enjoy the software. It's a joy to use. And until uh, until next time, and I I will uh, post this video as always on YouTube on my YouTube channel, and I'll put it as a blog on the ASCAD Services website as well. And until next time, um, have a good afternoon and speak to you again soon.